Hello everyone, welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah. You saw the title of the video. It is Happy Mail Time. Yes, it's so nice to have something in the middle of the week to pep us up. Let me tell you. Um, before I get started, I just want to let you know that everybody that I mentioned today is going to be linked in the description down below, so please go check them out. Um, go follow them if you have not already. I implore you. Anyway, let's get to the happy mail. Um, sometimes happy mail is in the form of winning a prize. Sometimes it's in the form of just a sweet little letter. I'm going to start with some things because there are several things here today. I got postcards, plural. What? All right. First one I want to show you is this one. It says Cape Cod on it. It is a beautiful image and it's it's actually like an older style of postcard. I don't know if it is an older postcard or not, but it is super cool, very thick. Um, this is from Karen Jean and Ex Libris Crafts. Thank you, Miss Karen Jean. If you remember, she is the wonderful creator who sent me that cute little embellished, like little journalette. And uh, yeah, and she sent me this back because I sent her a postcard because I have finally discovered where to find postcards. So it's like, yes, I will do this. And it was about Georgia because I am in Georgia in the USA. And she writes on here, Georgia is beautiful, but it can't hold a peach to Cape Cod. I believe you're probably right because that looks amazing. Thank you so much, Karen Jean. And please check out her channel down below, Ex Libris Crafts. She is amazing to watch. Got another postcard. This one had to travel a little further than from uh, Cape Cod. I got a postcard from across the pond from Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves and Beanie because it is also from Beanie. We cannot forget that because I think Beanie actually kind of runs the show over there. Yeah. If you don't know Lisa Ladybird Loves, where have you been? I mean, seriously, um, in my description below, not only is a link to her channel, there's also a link to a replay uh, where she and I have played games online uh, on her Monday Gaming Mayhem. So that's always fun too. This is just really sweet and awesome. And it's about Kettering, which is not where she lives. She tells me it is the next town over. But since I have never been there, wow, this makes me want to go though. Look at these, I don't know if you can see these scenes or not. That's just beautiful. Awesome little town scenes. Putting this right here for safekeeping so that Oscar does not grab it because Oscar the Wonder Kitty is right here um, trying to get in on the action. Now, also, um, I often mention that I um, am making things for Rose Likes Crochet for the Wings organization. And every month, um, she has had people donate thank you, thank you gifts. And what she does is she just writes everybody's name down and you get a number. It's a random number thing. And if your name gets pulled, you get a thank you gift. And that's just awesome because we're all doing this not for the gifts, but for what we can do to help out. And we get to, you know, exercise our crochet muscle, so it were. But I got this awesome thing. First, I want to read you the card because, of course, there's a card. Cute little llama llamas. She says, Deborah, thank you so much for donating to Wings. I mean, it is sweet, it is cute. And of course, the little llamas are adorable. I'm gonna put this back in this little envelope. And when she showed this, I thought it was like just a small little case. Mm -mm. Look at the box bottom on this. Yes, this is a handmade bag with a zipper pouch on the outside that is lined and a zipper pouch for the big kahuna on the inside, hello, that is lined with a cute plaid fabric and some pockets that are seamed down the front there. And look, butterfly and a really pretty flower. I love it and it's quilted. It's actually cushy and quilted. Um, if I like knitted socks or something, this would be perfect to put socks in, but I know that I can fit small projects in here because that is everything, is crocheting, right? And knitting and, you know, yarn stuff because, yeah. Oh, and skulls, seriously. Okay, so the, the, the Happy Mail does not stop there though. 
I entered for a prize um, on KBX band site. If you're not familiar with KBX, uh, that is the band of LJ. Neva, Manic Mama Musings, her husband, LJ. You might see him in her videos too. Really cool dude, likes metal like I do, yes. Um, and he's got a band and I got some cool stuff. I got two CDs. Yes, I did. One is the Dreamcatcher CD, one is Rock Hard. I have not gotten to listen to them yet um, because I have a CD player in the car and I just don't go in the car very often. And I have a CD player in the world's slowest laptop and I just haven't had time to just put in and listen and put on headphones and really get into it. But it will happen very soon. I've been chomping at the bit for this. But that wasn't all. Mm -mm. I don't know if you could hear that. This is a super cool mug that can be for hot or cold. It seals completely shut. And uh, look at the artwork on this. This was done by artwork by LJ uh, for the band. And he does the artwork for the, uh, the covers of the CDs too. So yeah, thank you LJ. And everybody needs to check him out. He's probably going to do another giveaway soon and you have a really good chance to win because there's not a ton of uh, subscribers there yet. Let's support him while we can. Thank you. Ah, really excited. Putting them down here so I don't drop them because this is a box. As you can see, it's a U.S. Postal box. And I was good. I behaved. And for this, I deserve a huge pat on the back. Mail came in and I did not open it. I know, right? Who are you and what you do with Deborah? But that's why I'm making the video today. I'm actually recording this on a Wednesday because, yeah, I was trying to be good. This is Happy Mail from Miss Cindy Moulter. And I will link her channel down below too. She's having to downsize stuff. She's moving a lot. Let me get this off here so I don't rattle the whole table. Um, and she's going through and giving away yarn and stuff to downsize her yarn stash. And she's been giving away boxes of it. And if you weren't paying attention and watching her channel, you may have missed that. I don't remember which box number I won. Doesn't matter. It's all great and the yarn will of course get a good home and she said there may be extras in there too so I'm like cool this is awesome um, but yes definitely check out Cindy because she's got some great yarny content too um, but gosh she's in the middle of moving and stuff right now and I don't wish that on anybody we have a pretty pretty green paper and she told us when she was packing things up that she didn't have any note cards and she's like you got paper ripped out of a notebook which is fine. Oh, and she put a cute little sticker on there. Congrats, Deborah. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry, no note cards. LOL. Cindy, your yarny sister. And look, that is such a cute little sticker there. I like that. Yes. There's yarn. Oh my gosh. It's stuffed full. It absolutely is. So I'm going to pull up another chair. To put yarn into when I pulled it out of the box because I don't want it going all over the house here and she said that yes some of it is just like extra it's you know unwrapped because it's like partial skeins that's totally cool we have two a full skeins of Bernat baby boucle um look at this it's blowing out I'm so sorry but it's like a little bumpy it's sweet and pink it's pretty soft for being like a bumpy kind of yarn and um, yeah I could totally see a tank top out of this for myself <laughs> let's be real because there's two and then not quite a half looks like about two and a third of those yes thank you now let's see there's more there's also a white in that I think it's the same stuff Bernat no, this is baby coordinated. Okay. It's white and it's a, like a zigzaggy yarn. Zigzaggy. Like that. Uh, I'm trying to see what the content is on this. I believe it's... Okay. It's 71% acrylic, 25% rayon, 3.2% nylon. 
it's really soft but yeah that's an interesting texture on there that will make a nice border on something or a trim all right Ooh, that's cool 100% acrylic no boundaries 50 grams 105 meters and I cannot stop squishing it it's got a really cool texture look at that it goes like from thick to thin but it's not quite a roving you know because of this is a different kind of a texture let's see they're saying a 6.5 millimeter hook for this doesn't necessarily say what the weight is but I'm guessing since they're calling a 6.5 they're probably averaging this out to be a five weight it's got some really thin places some really thick place places and it's a really bright happy yellow there's some more yellow in here too this yeah I remember her saying she had a couple that didn't have labels um, not sure ex exactly what this is but it feels just like your basic standard acrylic could be red heart could be something else but it's it's a four-weight acrylic in a nice light baby yellow and look at this this stuff right here Bernat happy it's 100% polyester and yes I'm squishing it because it is so soft look at that it's got little soft poofies on there I like that and those two will actually look good together okay trying to figure out how not to drop things Ooh, this is Bernat softy baby and it's pale blue in the color a light three your basic baby weight um, five ounces 140 grams and it's about 306 331 meters look at that that's a pretty blue yep a true three you know what some of this might work up with that chenille that I have in those colors yes okay oh wait wait there's more there's more buried up in here good gravy how'd you get all this in here Cindy I don't know oh okay red heart soft baby and this is in the color bright pink and yes it is and I happen to really like pink I like some folks out there so yes this does make me happy uh, this one is a partial skein and this one is a full skein and that partial is probably more than half just going by the, the weight of it there um, what does it say on here 525 meters 198 grams yeah Ooh. I might make a hat and some fingerless gloves out of this because yeah I do like pink and yes I will wear pink but mm, love it and I'm running out of room in this big chair over here okay stay <clears throat> one more partial skein in here this is more Bernat softy baby and look at this pretty minty green color let's see what they're calling it does it have a name it's called mint I guessed correctly what yeah it's probably a little less than half but mixed with something else it will definitely go far I appreciate that all right and I think I finally got to the end of the box like I said she put a lot in that little box look at this y'all two huge 200 gram skeins of yarn lane cozy baby Look at the colors that is so pretty it's kind of like bubblegum like you know like happy colors I like that and the picture that they show is of an Afghan on there and it looks like it works up really really neat uh, made in Turkey oh it's loops and threads okay loops and threads and it's probably acrylic where did it go it's a light three 70% acrylic 30% polyamide that's why it's so blasted soft that polyamide and yes I'm squishing the yarn it's not Charmin we can squeeze it it says to use a six millimeter no it says a G6 which is a four millimeter hook don't confuse me with the letters and the numbers just call it by the millimeters already yeah I'm a noob I don't I don't know all those other things machine wash warm do not bleach tumble dry road load tumble dry low do not iron 
um, hashtag duh for all of that. But anyway, this color is called Charleston. I've been to Charleston. I didn't think of these colors, but hey, whatever works. I am liking that. And you know what? There's, now see, I have no babies in my life. I have never had any babies, um, and I am unlikely to have babies. I'm over 50. Let's be real. That was never one of my life goals. But nobody, nobody says that, quote, baby yarn has to just be used for baby stuff. I love light, happy colors, too, in addition to my, as I wear my Skulls shirt and my little Skulls earring. There are a lot of sides to this wild and crazy personality, okay? So, yes. And besides, even if it's not something for me to wear or do, I am sure that I could make some donation items and make this yarn, all of the yarn, actually have a really good home. So, yes, this was Happy Mail indeed. Wow. Um, way to make the girl feel special, especially in the middle of a crazy week. Thank you to everyone. Um, by the way, I have sent out some postcards recently and I've received some postcards, which makes me really happy. If you would like to exchange postcards, send me an email. My email will be in the description box below and put in the subject line postcards or something and let me know what your YouTube name is because a lot of times people's email doesn't match up to what their YouTube name is and I'm like, I don't know who this is, but yes, I think it's fun that in addition to connecting, you know, via the World Wide Web, we can get some awesome snail mail too. Yes! That really, really made my day. Thank you to each and every person who sent me something. And even if you just hit a like on my video, you make me happy too. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.